Okay, here I am. It is World Goth Day Eve, I suppose. And uh, we are getting ready to go to the Aberfoyle Antique Market as the first part of our World Goth Day adventure. Um, unfortunately, it's raining. Again, it's been raining every fucking Sunday that I've been trying to go here. So anyways, we're sporting the hat today because we can't have the mohawk up in the rain. That's just a terrible idea. But anyways, I hope to find some good stuff. I'm looking for some, um, you know, sewing stuff to help me with my upcoming Mad Max sewing projects. And um, yeah, anyways, it should be a fun day. I'm looking forward to it. pothole half the guest vendors won't be here because like a lot of this is outside so unfortunately when it rains like a lot of people don't don't show up because they don't have any coverage and there's also not as many people attending obviously when it's raining so which means we're gonna get a good parking spot <laughs> I'm gonna rub it for good luck I've lost Brody. I don't know where he is. <coughs> He's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah, you me red green. Red green. Red green. <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. Hi, Brody. It's getting sunny, just in time for us to go home. How wonderful. Let's see this. This must be out of a church. Oh, that's friggin' cool. That's super cool. It's actually still got the butt of a candle in it. Oh my god. I feel like that needs to be in our house. Painted a different color. Not today. Not today. Oh, man. Yep. Hi guys. Hi. Little bath tub. Here we are, World Goth Day Home Edition. We are back from the antique market and we're just doing a small little thing at home in our black peignoir sets. And uh, we have some special goth treats. We have, I made us a bloody upside down crucifix cake to eat. It is Earl Grey tea flavored. The mannequins, of course, are in their World Goth Day finest. We have a whole bunch of candles going here, and uh, we're about to watch Bram Stoker's Dracula. And uh, Miss Mary is hiding out somewhere. She just bought some really appropriate sunglasses for Bram Stoker. She bought herself those little blue round lens sunglasses that uh, are like what he wore in the movie, so maybe she'll wear them while we watch it. We also have two bottles of this, the dark wine. Because what other kind of wine could you possibly be serving on, on World Goth Day? You have to have the darkest red wine possible, of course, while you're watching vampire movies. It is odd, but I fear almost that my strange friend is with me. He speaks to me in my thoughts. With him I felt more alive than ever I had. And now without him, soon to be a bride, I feel confused and lost. Perhaps, though I try to be good, I am bad. Perhaps I'm a bad, inconstant woman. Okay, so we're getting into our second bottle of wine here, as you can see. And uh, my glass is empty. We're drinking out of our very gothy arsenic wine glasses. And my glass is empty, so clearly, you know, we have to fix that. And uh, we're partway through Bram Stoker's Dracula. We're going to finish it and start another vampire movie. I bring you from shadow into light. I cast you Check it out. We have goth pasta. 
It's actually black pasta. I'm super excited about it. I made it into this delicious pasta that we're going to have for dinner. Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna cut into the, the goth cake here. Give everybody some delicious cake to watch our second movie, which is Dracula of the Dark Prince. I wish I thought I had to get ice cream, but I didn't. Mm. So here we are at the end of World Goth Day, part one. Today's not, this is like World Goth Day Eve, I guess, kind of like Christmas Eve, but World Goth Day Eve, because it's not actually World Goth Day. This was our pre-World Goth Day day, because this is when everybody could get together. So we had a great time out at the flea market. We had some good cake. We had some good pasta. We had some good wine. We watched two really gothy vampire movies, which was a lot of fun. And uh, now everyone's gone home. The candles are blown out. The food is eaten. The wine is drunk. We've even cleaned up a bit, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, we continue with part two tomorrow, which will be World Goth Day Sewing. All right, welcome to sewing on World Goth Day. Um, I'm in my comfy sewing clothes. I'm just wearing my black craft Thing and some pentagram leggings because when you're sewing comfort is paramount so fuck wearing corsets fuck beautiful velvet dresses not while you're sewing and unfortunately I'm not working on anything particularly gothy today for my you know gothy sewing I have to work on this pile of yellow fleece will soon become a yellow hippo costume for somebody it's a custom yellow hungry hungry hippo costume that I'm making for somebody and I am also working on what is in this bag this is going to be a white uh, the classic uh, seven year itch Marilyn Monroe dress for a lady that's going to be her wedding dress um, and then I'm working on a 50s dress that I have to take in for somebody and in this bag this is going to be maybe maybe some Mad Max sewing and I'm here with fellow Satan seamstress Gary Carey over here what are you working on Carrie? Medieval kind of blouse for someone just trimming it. <laughs> well, that's more gothy than it's what I'm doing. <laughs> kind of, eh? I might do some Freddy Cougar patches for a Freddy Cougar patchy dress. Oh, that's super fun. Comic Con. Um, and I might do another goth dress. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll see what we get accomplished. Yep. All right, so here we are. Yellow hippo body. About as done as it's going to get. It's not actually done, but whatever. I forgot to bring the tail with me, so uh, yeah. Anyways, that's about it on that for now until I can get to the tail and stuff. I've got my, well, this is going to be the Marilyn Monroe dress laid out here. It's not, it's not put together yet, but that's the next thing I'm going to work on. But first, I think we're going to take a little lunch break. You hungry, Carrie? Yeah. Sweet. Yummy. All right, so Marilyn Monroe dress is kind of put together. Plus size. It kind of looks like shit on this mannequin right now because it doesn't really fit. But uh, it's also not finished. Like, I totally have to do a fitting with the lady and, uh try it on her because you know everybody's built differently and no one is quite built like this dress form but uh, anyways here it is so far so that's as much as I'm going to do on that today until I get a fitting in with her anyways now on to an actual 50s dress here you go if Edward Scissorhands had to shorten a dress <laughs> so this is the giant mess that I have made on the floor cutting shit up and it's part of this, which I can't show you right now because that's part of uh, something for the fashion show, which I can't show you because that's gonna be part of a different video. But uh, working on sewing it all together with, um, I'll show you this, I'm super excited about it. This really, really disgusting piece of fabric that I pulled out of an abandoned house um, and then washed and I'm really, really excited about it. It's gonna be part of my, the dress that I'm making. And I can't wait, filthy and fabulous. All right, so here we are at the end of our sewing day. Uh, happy World Goth Day from Satan Seamstresses, me and Carrie. <laughs> um, I feel like I got a fair bit accomplished today. I brought a bunch of stuff in a bag and I got it all done. Not all of it was gothy. Actually, most of it wasn't except for my secret project. But uh, yeah, anyways. I got a fair amount done. So if you like this video, you should uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hopefully we will be able to make more sewing videos for you shortly.